so there's a Course in Miracles lesson uh, on um, attack thoughts. And I was asked the question, the great question on, should I avoid people who trigger attack thoughts in me? Is that the right thing or is that the wrong thing to do? Uh, it's a great question. And it's one that requires um, spiritual discernment or spiritual intuition from God. Now, the answer to every question depends on the context of where the individual is at and what the spiritual lesson is in their journey that they need to, um, to transcend. So for example, for a certain spiritual individual at a certain level of consciousness, um, then the, uh, the, um, the, the thing to do would be to, um, to avoid, uh, the, the right thing to do would be to avoid people because the motive and the intention of that person and, and oneself, uh, the, the wise thing to do would be to avoid them. So uh, like um, if there's a person who's um, below integrity and wants to stay below integrity um, and uh, they've habitually been my friend, but it's now, it now seems through prayer and meditation the time is to leave, then it would be to possibly to avoid. Whereas sometimes um, there can be what I call karmic, con karmic contracts, uh, whereby you can't avoid a person, they'll keep coming back no matter what you do. And then it's like there's a karmic contract there that you need to transcend. You can't just easily escape the situation. Um, sometimes it could be family members or whatever, where you can just suddenly leave and never speak to them again. And that sorts the, and that can be the right thing in certain situations, but it's like, no, um, this person is going to keep coming back. It has to be resolved spiritually. I have to transcend the individual and to undo all the unforgivenesses or whatever limiting ideas until that's transcended, whether they're there or not. It doesn't block the connection to the infinite. So, um, so the answer to the question is it depends. My my from my own experience, it's a bit like if there's someone clearly of non-integrity that doesn't match my vibration or isn't aiding in the increase of my consciousness, and um, there's this in, inner intuition that you can easily let them go. It's not going to. It's not. They often say, "What is God's will?" It's in the interest of the highest good. It'll be good for that person. Um, to let them get on with their own life at their level of consciousness, carry on in their non-integrity until they have a spiritual awakening. And it's okay to let them go, and I can carry on evolving my consciousness as well into the infinite. So that's it might be the purpose. The other one might be that um, there's a, an intuition, this is, a, this is a karmic undoing relationship. It's a spiritual assignment that whatever I do to try and escape it, either that person will come back or a similar representation of that type of person, the universe will keep pushing it in my face until I've done the spiritual work to transcend it. So it no longer has any effect. It's like that lesson that my uh, limiting ideas are pulling towards me, my karma uh, is, is, is undone through whatever means, the course of miracles, through forgiveness or through experiencing out uh, what I've done to others and let it be and let myself have a dose of that if that's uh, what's required to undo uh, or to let go of or to transcend or whatever the thing that's coming up okay <clears throat>